Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to make a line follower robot without microcontroller. So let's get started. For this project we need a chassis but if you do not want to buy this then take a electric switchboard like this ok. We do not need this front cover. Ok, now we need this. Make a hole in this side and this side. Ok, so that you can attach your motor like this. And I have taken this type of gear motor, it is 200 rpm. Now, see, I have created two holes for the motors, it is approximately 15 mm and also this side and this distance is 29.6 mm also this side ok you have to make these two holes in equal distance ok now we can fit our motor easily we need two wheels like this we need one piece of eyeball wheel or custard ball wheel then we need two pieces of IR sensor module. If you want to buy it then you can buy or you can make it by yourself and I have already explained how to make this module link in the description below. Eyeball wheel. Now we have to make three holes in this. Now put the screws. Ok. After soldering we have to put our motor in this hole. Now identify the motor's positive terminal and the negative terminal. Now connect your power supply and connect it any of the terminal. Now see whether the motor is running clockwise or anti-clockwise. See it is running anti-clockwise. So this terminal should be negative and this terminal should be positive. You have to make it to rotate clockwise direction. Now see it is clockwise direction and this is our actual positive and this is our actual negative. So mark it as positive and there is and there is already a mark here positive but some motors doesn't have these markings so you have to identify its positive and negative by observing its direction. So by this method I have identified its positive and negative terminal. I am soldering its positive terminal with green wire and negative with blue and white color. Now put this. And cover the screws with sponge or glues. Ok. Ok this will be enough. For this project I am using 6 volt battery and I am putting this battery here. Ok. Now attach the two wheels. Now put the right one. Ok our body is ready. Now see the circuit diagram. Here is our IC. L293D. It's pin number 1, 8, 9 and 16 all together connected to plus VCC. Here I am going to apply 6 volt. Ok. And it's pin number 4, 5, 12 and 13 all together goes to ground. And we have to add 2 pull down resistor pin number 7 with 10 kilo ohm resistor and then it is connected to ground and also the pin number 15 goes to ground and the value is 10 kilo ohms ok here we have two IR sensor module its V out or you can say signal pin for the left side it is connected to pin number 2 and for the right side 
it is connected to pin number 10 and its VCC pin will connect it to plus 6 volt and ground pin is connected to ground same as for this module also ok and we need two motors here is one and another one this is left motor this is right motor ok for the left side its negative pin is connected to pin number 3 it is for left motor ok and the positive pin is connected to pin number 6 and for the right side its negative pin is connected to pin number 14 and its positive pin is connected to pin number 11 this is the right module and this is the left side module ok so this is our complete circuit diagram now let's see this on the breadboard now see the breadboard connection put the L293 DIC pin number 4 5 12 and 13 goes to ground and the pin number 1 8 9 and 16 goes to plus VCC 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between pin number 7 and ground also the pin number 15 connect both the positive rail both the negative rail now put some glues here ok now connect the negative terminal to the to the negative rail and here you have to put a switch the positive terminal is connected to the switch and the middle pin is connected to the positive rail so whenever I press the switch it will turn on the circuit ok now it is turned off now it's time to attach our sensors in the front side we have to put our sensors like this now attach the another ok now connect all the connections this is left sensor left motor right sensor right motor ok the white wire I have connected as negative pin of the right motor so it goes to pin number 14 and this green wire I have connected as positive pin of the right motor so it is connected to pin number 11 and the blue wire is connected to pin number 3 as it is negative pin of the left motor and this green wire is connected to pin number 6 as it is positive pin of the left motor now connect the sensor the ground pin of the sensor is connected to ground the VCC pin is connected to positive rail ok as this is right sensor so its signal pin is connected to pin number 10 and the left sensor its signal pin is connected to pin number 2 so all the connections are completed now let's go for test drive
so guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another project till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching